Item 10B, adopt a resolution authorizing the city manager to execute an agreement between the city of Millbrae, the city of San Bruno, and the Central County Fire Department for a shared fire chief position. Mr. Mayor, members of the city council, this item is being brought to you along with the next item, uh, 10C on your agenda, to situate the leadership of the fire department and to advance the city's uh, participation in a coordinated effort with the cities of Burlingame, the town of Hillsborough, and the city of Millbrae to develop a uh, regional means of delivering fire service. As the council is uh, absolutely and uh, um, fully aware, this city has been a leader in what's becoming known as uh, shared services initiatives to both demonstrate the viability of delivering uh, coordinated services in a regional manner, uh, thereby containing costs and wherever possible increasing the level of service available to residents in our communities. Um, the initiative to consolidate and to share and coordinate services among the four communities uh, first began a number of years ago and most particularly has been in full implementation between the city of Millbrae and the city of San Bruno for the last approximately seven years uh, where we have shared first uh, battalion chief services and more recently for approximately five years um, fire chief services as i indicated a next step in this process is to move more deliberately towards the sub-regional sharing uh, with the communities of burlingame and hillsborough uh, themselves merged into a single fire department known as central county fire uh, the particular agreement that I'm commenting on tonight uh, would provide the uh, means by which our four communities share the services of a single fire chief, um, again, moving from the existing sharing that we've had in place for fire chief services for now for a number of years with the city of Millbrae. The, um, uh, the, the need for a change in the way that we were doing business with in coordination with Millbrae is precipitated by the planned retirement of our former fire chief Dennis Haig and the need for both of our communities to uh, quickly and efficiently identify uh, a new fire chief the agreement before you is modeled on that that agreement that uh, has been in place or those agreements that have been in place for many years between San Bruno and Millbrae. Um, the language may look a little bit different, but it covers all of the same basic uh, concepts uh, that have worked very well for us over the past many years. Um, I indicated at the outset that this is, this is a uh, coordinated effort uh, together with the next item on your agenda. Uh, which I will turn over to the chief in just a moment uh, and is the subject of a separate agreement. Uh, but I would, I would uh, suggest to you that these two items work together and they don't really work very well separately um, in as much as now with the sharing of a single chief and what are now still three separate fire departments, um, there is really a need for backup support to the chief and there is a um, lesser direct day-to-day uh, -day involvement of a single fire chief in the three different departments for which he is now responsible. Um, so with that, I'm recommending your approval of the agreement that's in front of you. Uh, it would have us paying one quarter of the fire chief's overall in salary and benefit costs to the uh, Central County Fire Department and receiving a commensurate uh, amount of his time and attention to leadership of the San Bruno Fire Department. Uh, this same agreement is being uh, considered tonight by the City Council in Millbrae and very soon, I think tomorrow night, by the Central County Fire Board. So your action is one of, of three that need to be taken in order to make sure that this agreement is in full force and effect. Um, 
I would make one final comment, and that is that the um, uh, financial or the fiscal impact section of this report suggests some savings that would result o over the um, it, compared to the amount that we have been paying Milbray for 50% fire chief services. However, I would caution that these savings are not actually real savings. Those, that amount will be redeployed, as the chief will indicate in a moment, to those backup support services that are necessary in order to make this arrangement work. Uh, with that, I'd be happy to take any questions. Uh, before we hear from the chief, you think? I, I think that would be a great idea. Yes. Uh, good evening, Mr. Mayor and Council. Uh, the second agreement is for a shared deputy chief and a fire marshal position between the city of Milbray and the city of San Bruno. Um, as the city manager mentioned, it is being uh, considered at the same time in the city of Milbray. Uh, this agreement uh, will allow us to have a deputy chief uh, dedicated to the city of San Bruno and also to the city of Milbray shared 50-50 uh, to over oversee day-to-day -day, uh, services. Uh, it also allows Milbray to um, re, uh, reclassify their, their fire marshal to the deputy chief's position, which will be shared, and in exchange, San Bruno will provide, provide fire marshal services back to the city of Milbray on a 50-50 basis. Um, it's part of what uh, we are looking at as a continued uh, streamlining of our, of, our, uh, of our staff and our operations. Um, overall, we have reduced through the uh, shared administration, this is reducing two positions um, and rea reassigning uh, responsibilities and reallocating costs. Uh, the, the, the money that was mentioned as far as savings is um, intended to be reallocated to help provide uh, some support service in the position of a fire inspector with uh, both San Bruno and Milbray, uh, and it will allow us to move to a non-safety position. Um, we are currently in the process of evaluating what the exact need will be between the two cities. Uh, we have already provided some small fire uh, prevention services to the city of Milbury. Um, their current fire marshal is, as I said, the deputy chief, and he has been trying to keep up with the workload. We think that we're going to be able to bring in a part-time position that will help both cities um, at, a reduced, uh, at a reduced cost. So if you couple the fire chief's position with the fire marshal's position, the re reassigned or redesignated uh, deputy chief's position, uh, there is some savings that could be allocated towards fire prevention. Uh, we will then have one fire marshal who will oversee both cities, and that would be the San Bruno fire marshal. And then under his direction would be the fire inspector. Um, I do want to point out one thing before I move too far along, and that is that on the DS in front of you is the revised contract or agreement, rather, for the shared uh, fire chief, deputy fire chief, and fire marshal. Uh, inadvertently, we had included a draft of it in your original packet. So this. What you have before you is the uh, the corrected version with no substantial changes to it uh, from what was in the draft. Yeah, could you uh, can you help me tell me then identify what's different from what I what, what you're saying is this is different than what we received in the packet? It's it's not uh, substantially different. The uh, report or the contract that's in your packet had some areas of italicized type, and those areas have been um, either uh, confirmed or uh, a question that they posed that that language posed has been answered. So um, I can let the city attorney speak to that, but I believe that there are no significant issues embedded in those changes. Right, that's correct. Yeah. So you reviewed this and Okay. okay. Well, yes, extensively. Just so I understand, uh, Chief and City Manager, so currently we've been having uh, uh, half a chief prior, two bad chiefs. This is for San Bruno specifically. Now the proposal is for a quarter chief, half of a uh, deputy chief, half of a battalion chief, slash then fire marshal for Milbray, and then one bad chief that we still uh, have in San Bruno. So basically, we're going from a 2.5 to 2.5 as far as headcount allocation from then and today. Is that accurate? When you said two bat chiefs, were you including the, uh, the on, on, 
on duty um, line battalion chief and the fire marshal position as yeah. they currently uh, exist? Yeah, and for the city of San Bruno, I was including the online bat chief as well as the uh, battalion chief that deals with uh, like what Millbury would do for fire marshal. Well, there are actually two battalion chiefs. There are a total of three battalion chiefs in operations and one in prevention. Okay. So there's a total of four between the two agencies. Right, and I'm just talking about San Bruno. Okay. So we had uh, prior half of a fire chief and two battalion chiefs for the city of San Bruno, let's say a month ago, two months ago. So now the proposal is, is a quarter of a chief, half a deputy chief, that will be new. The half the battalion chief becomes a half a battalion chief here and a fire, half of a fire marshal in Millbrae. And then the on service, as you were on call, the uh, bat battalion chief still. You, you did at one point have a fire marshal and another fire inspector when we promoted the, to the battalion chief position, the position was classified from a, basically a division chief down to a battalion chief position, and we eliminated the fire inspector position that had been a captain's position before. He had gone back online, so at one point you did have two in prevention. You're right. now gonna have half of a full-time position and then support from the, the other shared position. Right, and that, and that uh, captain coming back over, uh, that was a while ago, that wasn't just, a few months ago, that was in the last budget for reductions, if I'm not mistaken. Am I wrong or? No, you're not, okay. you're correct. Um, so when you talked about having uh, fire, having some of these savings go to the fire inspector, which is a part-time position, so what are we looking at as potential costs that that would add or savings that would be saved would be going toward a part-time position? That's part one of the question. The other side of it is, it's because prior, uh, the former chief had indicated that he had a concern at some points if you took the two cities and had one type of chief, fire or battalion, to serve both cities and try to adequately uh, give the services that are needed. I'll address the cost item and then I'll ask the chief to address the uh, coverage of fire prevention services. Um, on the cost side, the uh, net savings, and I'll, I'll say that loosely, um, the net savings that are shown in your report are $49,000. That is the amount that is not being paid to either Central County or to Millbrae for chief and deputy chief services compared to the amount that has previously been paid for chief services. And that amount we view as um, the capacity for the city to redeploy into fire prevention in order to make sure that adequate support is provided to the prevention function. So the, the way that uh, the financial arrangement has been structured among the four, the discussions that have occurred among the four city managers and the, and the, and the fire chief is that a rearrangement of the administrative, uh, uh, the administrative personnel in the fire department must not cost more than what we're already paying. And if you, so that's where the $49,000 as savings is identified, and that amount is available and will be deployed to fire prevention services in order to make this whole thing work. So there is no, these agreements do not envision the city of San Bruno's costs either increasing or decreasing over the current and budgeted amounts. Is it, it, two more items, is it fair then that as this was presented to the city of Millbrae, any savings that they having are also being deployed into fire inspection in this part-time position so that uh, for any of the extra coverage that's needed? It's my understanding that that is the case, yes. And then if approved, I know we had approved a half of a chief for this 212-213 uh, budget, mm -hmm. so then that would be readjusted to a quarter? 
um, the, the, your authorization for this contract would af effectively amend the position control uh, allocations. Um, that said, the and those are typically shown in the budget. That said, the um, final budget, I believe, has has reached a very late stage in its uh, preparation, and I don't know that the, that the final budget document will reflect um, uh, this action. But but this action will essentially supersede that that position uh, position uh, presentation. Thank you. Central County Fire Department for a shared fire chief position. Madam B, I'd like to introduce a resolution for adoption. Vice Mayor Ibera. Aye. Council Member O'Connell. Aye. Council Member Medita. Aye. Council Member Salazar. Aye. Mayor Ruane. Aye. Uh, next is uh, we'd like a uh, resolution introduced to um, authorize the manager to execute an agreement between the City of Millbury and the City of San Bruno for a shared deputy fire chief and a fire marshal position. I'll introduce the resolution. Council Member O'Connell. Aye. Council Member Medina. Aye. Council Member Salazar. Aye. Vice Mayor Ibera. Aye. Mayor Ruane. Aye. Thank you.